Rav Hirsch says that a person that is free of envy and jealousy is going to be free of hate. Both in his mind and in his spirit. Which is the ultimate freedom. People always talk about, oh, Amisad used to be slaves, we're still slaves. Oh, the black people used to be slaves, they're still slaves. Oh, this one used to be slave, everybody's still slaves. All of humanity, almost 8 billion people, almost everybody is a slave. The only people that are not slaves are Bnei Torah. But not just anybody learns Torah. Someone that doesn't have jealousy in his heart. As long as you have jealousy in your heart, you are 100% a slave. A slave to your desires, a slave to your hatred, a slave to things that are controlling you and are simply poison. Poison controlling your life. Every time you see somebody smiling, eh, what do you do? Eh, eh. You get annoyed. Why? Why is everybody so happy? Why everybody so this? Why, why, why are you so upset that they're happy? Why are you so upset that they have good stuff? It's poison. You're a slave. You're a slave to this poison. Slave to this poison. It's a spiritual slavery. If you need to get the newest iPhone, every time it comes out, the newest car, every time it comes out, the newest house, the nicest house, the biggest this, the biggest that, you're a slave. doesn't matter how much money you have in the bank. If your life is, is materialism, constantly materialism, materialism, why? Because you're constantly competing with everybody else. Oh, you expanded this house? I'm going to expand. I'm going to get another house. Now I'm going to expand my house. I'm going to get another house. I'm going to get two houses, put them together. You expanded this house? I'm going to get two houses and put them together. Sometimes you see, you go to certain neighborhoods, you see the competition. For years, everybody was like normal, you know, modest, decent, normal houses. All of a sudden, one neighbor decides to expand, put a, I don't know, balcony. Decides to put a balcony, decides to... Uh, expand his yard, decided to add a floor, something. Miraculously, everybody else has the same idea. He expanded his garden, everybody else expanded it. He put a gate, everybody puts a gate. He's adding a floor, everyone wants to add a floor all of a sudden. All of a sudden, everybody wants, what? Well, you lived in this house for 25, 30 years, everything was good. So what happened now? You have to do all this stuff. Oh no, you know, it's the times. What times? What? You saw your... Neighbor, but you don't have any kids. You're it's two people with a dog. Why are you adding eight more rooms to the house? Sometimes you go, you walk around, you see some of these houses. Baruch Hashem, let you have a big house, but have people in it too. You see, sometimes people have mamash nothing to do with their money, absolutely nothing to do with their money. Why do they expand the house? But why do they expand the house? They expand the house when they least need it, when there's nobody home anymore because the kids are all married off. They're all with their own houses. They're all with this. But there's two old people, 87 rooms. And you have to have a little tustus to go from room to room. And in reality, they live in the kitchen by themselves the whole time. No one sees the rooms except the cleaning people. Why do you have such a... For what? Why do you have it? Oh, you have it because your neighbor did it. You're a slave. To your, you should call your neighbor my master. Master, master. Why? Because he's your master. You're constantly chasing him. Constantly trying. You're a slave. You're a slave. Jealousy is slavery. אני מברך את הרבנים, רגע, 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 אני מברך את הרבנים, הרב ירון ראובן, הרב אפרים כחלון, ראשי ארגון בעזרת השם, שיעבחו בפי עליון
שאלו בעל הבעלה, יהיה להם ברכה והצלחה. הקדוש ברוך הוא ימלא בלשונות ליבם לטובה ולברכה. שבכל מה שיפנו, ישכילו ויצליחו. יזכו עוד לעשות כאלה וכאלה. הודיעו תורה על הדירה, אמן ואמן. אז אם בעזרת השם רשת בכל הארץ. הוא היהודי הזה, הוא היה מיליונר, סגר את כל הביזנס, אמר אני משקיע פה בעולמה של תורה. איפה הוא גר? בפלורידה. פלורידה. איפה זה פלורידה? באמריקה. במיאמי. כן, ליד. אנחנו שם עכשיו הולכים להקים קהילה ספרדית. חזק אותו בשביל. קהילה ספרדית גדולה. אני גם מה שבירכתי אותו. כן. קהילה ספרדית גדולה.